Yo, what is up everybody? Today is day two of Fortnite Remix, you know, going back to chapter two again. I'm loving it so far. I hope you guys are too. In today's video, we're just going to be talking about my personal settings, like my keyboard settings, all that stuff. We'll get into graphic settings later in the season, but today we're just going to do a quick overview of like what my actual keybinds are, all that stuff. If you guys do want to support me, make sure you go over to the shop and type in code SPADES, S-P-A-I-D-Z-Z. -Z. Helps me out a ton, but otherwise we're going to get straight into the video. The first thing before we get into like my actual settings is this little crosshair right in, in the middle. Kind of can't see it there. Well, yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit better there. Um, that is something that people ask me about a lot. I turned my reticle off just so I can have this little thing. It has improved my aim a ton. So the app that I use for that is something called Crosshair X, which I'll drag over here. So it's pretty easy to use. It's on Epic Games or Steam. You can use it on either one. I think it's like eight dollars and you can basically pick from all of these different people that already have like preset crosshairs otherwise you can make your own you can change the size position all that stuff but i think it's a really cool thing and it helped me out a ton whenever i kind of felt like i was struggling with my aim a little bit i tried aim trainer stuff like that but this is what has benefited me the most other than that we're going to jump straight into my actual settings so for display i play on windowed mode just or windowed full screen just because um the Crosshair, you do have to have windowed full screen. If you don't have a crosshair or an overlay, something like that, go on full screen, it's gonna help your FPS the most. My monitor is 1440p, so I play on 1440p. V-Sync is off. Frame rate limit is 360. You want this to be one step above whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. So my monitor is 240 frames, so I want that at 360. It's just gonna give you the most smooth gameplay, and that's what you want. I do play on performance mode. That is, again, going to give you the best FPS and everything. So that is what you want to play on. I don't even have DirectX 12 downloaded, as you can see. You can delete that just to save storage on your computer if you want to. Graphic settings, brightness 100. I have colorblind off for this season. I feel like it looks the best. I might look at that a little bit more before I make another graphics video. Colorblind strength, 0. 3D res is 100. 3D resolution, if you guys don't know what that means, it is basically how many, what percent of the pixels pop up on your screen. So if you play on 1440p and you have it at 100, it's going to be 1440 pixels on your screen. And then if you put it on 50%, it's going to be, what is that, 720 pixels. View distance is near, texture is near, mesh is low. That is because I pair that up with performance mode and that is what looks best. That's going to give you the best FPS. You don't need high, you don't need any of this fancy stuff. You don't need it to be on Epic or FAR, any of that stuff. I do have show FPS. I do have report performance sets off though so that is something to kind of look at volume if you guys care about this stuff i don't like my music super high just because i stream it gets a little bit annoying sound quality high 3d headphones off background off visualize sound effects i do have that on though just because if you guys have noticed in my streams if somebody's like walking around near you or there's chests near you you can see which direction they are just because this is on Voice chat, well, obviously this stuff is just personal preference, just depends how you like it. Most of the time you wanna make sure this stuff is not on default input, just because that could cause some issues. Sometimes people can't hear you, stuff like that. Make sure it's on your actual microphone or on your actual headset up here. Other than that, we'll get down to this stuff. I play on NA East. Make sure whenever you guys have your matchmaking region, make sure it's set to either auto or your actual region. So I could do NA East if you want. You know, it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Otherwise, you know, this is just kind of movement settings, combat settings, stuff like that. I'll scroll through a little bit. And if you guys want to look at any of it, you can change it to mine. I'm not going to really stop on it, though. Getting into this stuff. So this is what I was saying, how I have this overlay for my crosshair. If you guys do download one of those, you go right here to game UI and you can turn off your reticle. So that is the actual like reticle that Fortnite will give you. You want to turn that off. Um, otherwise, you know, this is kind of just personal preference stuff. If you want to see the list or cumulative, I prefer list just because it's original and I'm used to it. Scale, all this stuff. I have my scale on 75, all this stuff. If you guys want to see the overlays, all this stuff. I don't really see a reason why you would turn some of this stuff off. This is, you know, you don't want that off just because it'll affect your performance. Getting over to actual game stuff, though. This stuff is mainly for controller, I believe. So I don't really mess with this stuff a lot. Um, but we will go over here to my keybinds. This is where it gets interesting. I do play on 800 DPI. So my X-axis sensitivity, 
X and Y, that is literally just like X is if you're moving it left to right, Y is up and down. So if you guys have a pretty big mouse pad, this is probably what's best for you. But if you have a smaller one, you're probably going to want this higher. Um, so 12.5, 12.5. This is just 100%. I try to just edit just this just because it makes it much easier than editing like all three of these. Um, so that's why all these are 100. Ignore controller because I don't have a controller. Lock input. It is on mouse. Um, I don't have any custom movement or anything like that. So this is off. All this stuff is just, you know, how it is set. There's not really anything to change there. And then we're going to get into actual key binds. So move forward, W, of course, A, S, and D, all that. Jump. Sprint is G. That is just what's easier for me. Auto run is tab just because it's right there next to my ring finger. Crouch, V. I, do, I have both of these off just because they're not really necessary. And it really annoys me whenever I accidentally press one of them. And I don't mean to. So I just turn them off. Fire, target, obviously, are just the mouse buttons. Toggle scope mode, shift. I don't really use that a whole lot. Reload R, use is C. Pickaxe caps, weapon slot 1 is scroll wheel up. So just like that. Just because right there, I don't have to press one of the numbers. It's just the quickest way to get to it. Q is my weapon slot 2, and then 3, 4, 5. Building, same thing for crouch. Wall is going to be my front left mouse button. So like on the side of the mouse, there's two little buttons. It is a front one. Stairs is my close mouse button. Floor is E. Roof is shift. Trap is X. Place building is obviously, you know, just placing a building. Repair H. Rotate building. I turn that off as well just because there's no reason I really need to rotate. Change building material. Same as always. Building edit or building edit, just regular edit is just F. But it shows that I have scroll wheel down just because I have scroll wheel reset. So if I scroll down, it'll automatically reset my build for me. If you guys do want that, you need to have it set right here and you need to have it set down here. So it needs to be just like that. This just needs to be a random button and then that's what that is. Other than that, this is just some random communication stuff. Again, I'm just going to scroll through this pretty fast. There's not really a whole lot that you guys actually need to pay attention to down here. It's just preset stuff. A lot of it I didn't even change. All right, and next we just have controller input stuff. This is just random stuff for controller. I don't play on controller anymore. I did used to, but if you guys want to know about any of this stuff, I can make another video on it. Um, but like I said, I don't even play controller anymore. There's not a whole lot there. Did play on Builder Pro, I guess. But other than that, that is all. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. Otherwise, I am going to put in a couple of clips just so you guys can see how I play, see what my sensitivity looks like, stuff like that. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and enjoy the rest of the new season. I didn't max that. back he's right there you see this oh oh oh